but when we enter into his things into his world it begins to change us oh, into it God bring God them today. into my world Holy get it straight God The Holy Ghost is God in the earth today, and you walk with him by saying words. My name is Andrew Hemstrock. Thank you for joining us. If this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe. If this isn't your first time here and these messages are blessing you, then consider becoming a partner with us. Second Corinthians chapter 3, verse 16. Nevertheless, when it shall turn to the Lord, the veil shall be taken away say the veil, the veil. Shall, be taken shall be taken away and so when the veil is taken away you're gonna see something you didn't see before all the way up until now you could have been doing things living things but then when the veil's taken away you see something you didn't see before yes. now the Lord is that spirit my goodness i never saw that before i was under some kind of a religious veil to where i didn't see that now say now yeah. now in the earth today the lord is that spirit he is lord now the spirit the spirit lord do you understand this the father's in heaven say in heaven, in heaven. and jesus is at his right hand say at his right hand and they sent the holy ghost to be with us oh, yes. words of jesus Amen. right yes so who's with us the holy, ghost. the holy ghost now the lord is that spirit that spirit is the holy ghost mm -hmm. where here. here in this earth Amen. where you are isn't this good news yes, it is. you think i was preaching the bad news it says where the spirit lord is or where the spirit of the lord is where the spirit of the lord is there say there, there. where's there yeah. Yeah. the same place that the where was <laughs> say the same place the, same place. the where, was. where was that's here where the spirit of the lord is there is liberty but if we don't go behind that veil and see that the spirit lord is mm -hmm. with us now then we aren't there yet meaning you're still on the other side of the veil well I'm not on that other side of the veil anymore I see mm -hmm. the Spirit Lord is and he's here with me and I have a liberty that I could not have otherwise mm -hmm. where the Spirit of the Lord is there is Liberty which means where the Spirit of the Lord isn't there isn't at least this Liberty that he's talking about and the word liberty we know is the word freedom mm -hmm. there is no lack where the freedom of the Lord is mm -hmm. lack is not freedom lack is bondage mm -hmm. sickness is not freedom sickness is bondage so where the Spirit Lord is there is healing mm -hmm. where the Spirit Lord is there there is prosperity there is a higher way of living a higher life you could say behind that veil mm -hmm. when the veil's taken away there's a higher life there there's a higher freedom there there's a higher liberty there are you here mm -hmm. and it's above only why would that be because he's above only and where you're exposed to him behind the veil you become above it come to the front of the airplane it's a higher class we understand that right yes. what's in between you know the first class and then the, the cabins in the back or the seats in the back what's usually there a curtain you ever see this yes. am yes. I too old school to yeah. right there's a curtain everybody gets situated and sit down they pull the curtain yeah. I've been on both sides of that curtain I prefer to be in front of the curtain because things happen up there that don't happen in the back mm -hmm. are you here yes. <laughs> come to the front of the airplane stop sitting in the back 
the Holy Ghost says bring them into my world the Holy Ghost world is behind this veil where he is Lord God in the earth today yes. behind that veil you enter into I hope you're hearing this his world what's his world like it's at the front of the airplane I can guarantee you yes. what's the Holy Ghost world like as it goes on in the verse there to say that we're supposed to behold him and his world or in his glory but when we enter into his things into his world it begins to change us into it bring them into my world mm -hmm. get it straight not your world it's above your world it's beyond your ability his world his health his wealth his life which includes youth renewal get this it's his and you're entering into his are you going to enter into his if you don't see him and you haven't had that veil removed to where you see that now the Lord is yeah. that spirit it's his life it's a kind of living it's a supernatural kind of living where supernatural things take place for you on a regular basis because they're his things mm -hmm. happening in your life say his things, his things. Happening, happening in my life, in my life. why is that because now the Lord is you go from here to there you go from here where you're you're the one doing everything to there where he's got his hand involved yes. spirit lord mm -hmm. holy ghost god in the earth today Amen. well that's just not natural yeah i know it's not natural it's supernatural supernatural just means above the natural mm -hmm. you're called to live above the natural i hope you know that yes your wealth is a spiritual reality right now you haven't experienced it yet because you haven't come far enough behind the veil your healing is a spiritual spiritual reality already right now mm -hmm. say right now yeah. but you haven't realized it yet because you haven't come far enough behind the veil you go into that place where he is and he's above the things you enter into it with him as the spirit lord this makes me happy i don't know about you i'm so glad the holy ghost is god near today we can walk with him we could have been in some other dispensation you know most most of the church is living like they're in some other dispensation they're just waiting around to die and go to heaven when God gets you know gets done beating up on them enough then they go to heaven what God are they serving half the time who knows certainly not this one because they haven't come behind the veil you go into that place that is above I hope you can hear this I'm gonna try to get you here Psalms 107 verse 20 says he sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destructions he sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destructions in that word which was spoken by the Holy Ghost by the way holy men of God spake as they were moved by the Holy Ghost so the Holy Ghost was speaking this through holy men of old mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. Psalms 107 20 he sent his word and healed them and delivered healed is past tense your healing is already there your healing is already there 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 where they're behind the veil where the Holy Ghost is you saying this verse of scripture being in agreement with the Holy Ghost he sent his word and healed me and delivered me from my destructions I'm saying it he sent his word and healed me and delivered me from my destructions I continue to say it he sent his word and healed me and delivered me from my destructions as I'm saying that I begin to see him and enter in behind that veil and what's there for me something that's super natural it supersedes the natural sickness 
or problem that I needed to get delivered from send his word and healed me and delivered me from my destructions it's already in that word all of his promises are behind that veil of him being the Lord God the Spirit Lord in the earth it's a place that takes you above all problems it exists above the problem is that where you want to go yes. that's where you want to go and it's supernatural above the natural Amen. him involved in your natural I, I guarantee you Holy Ghost involved in your natural is supernatural yes. higher class behind the veil well so I guess we're trying to get behind this veil aren't we if you, if you can see that we, we need to be behind the veil where those liberties take place mm -hmm. say where those liberties take place. Those liberties take place what are the liberties prosperity healing youth renewal and all the other good things that God the Holy Ghost has for you as God in the earth today mm -hmm. right yes. but words are what transport you there you have to have the right words it's how we walk with God in the earth today the Holy Ghost yes. is by speaking in agreement with his word well what if I'm not speaking in agreement with his word that now the Spirit of the Lord is or now the Spirit Lord is or now the Lord is that spirit what if I'm not saying that then my now is somehow still behind a veil it's not that say this I'm simply saying what the word is saying now the Lord is that spirit I'm saying it and that helps me to enter in behind that veil to I realize that now the Lord is that spirit and I have liberties that I couldn't have before I began saying that yes. well the church can't go here if it doesn't hear this words transport us there preachers preach words and hopefully they're preaching words that will take people somewhere not just to die and go to heaven but the church can't go there if it never hears these words so therefore God sends people like me to say these things so you can hear them you can hear them and as you hear them they begin to take you there there the place where you weren't before mm -hmm. they're the place where poverty has no hold on you they're the place where sickness can't even find you it doesn't know your name anymore they're the place where your youth is renewed and you begin to look an awful lot like him the Holy Ghost who is God in the earth today Amen. well some people have a problem with people like me who know what they're called to preach and who preach it mm -hmm. who know where they're going and how to get there and say it boldly they have a problem with that because they've never been exposed to it before they're used to people just preaching the regular doctrine as the doctrine is supposed to be preached according to them and their religious tradition mm -hmm. but when someone comes along with a message from God and I am a sent one with a message from God that's what I do and I'm telling you this message and it will take you somewhere that you can't go without it yeah. it's not about me because I'm so fancy yeah. it's because the message is so fancy yes. Yes. that's a fancy message and I understand most preachers have never been given this message I preached a whole bunch of stuff before I ever preached this message because I wasn't given it but now I'm a sent one with a message that will take you somewhere that you've never been before and it's glorious and it goes from glory to glory to glory not my glory his glory Amen. is your youth renewed yes. is your bank account expanding and exploding yes. is sickness melting off of you and going away yes it's because you're behind the veil and you're beginning to walk with him in his liberties his does he have any liberties yes. he's God he's got them all 
well, some people have never been exposed to this message but when they are exposed to it it threatens the status quo it threatens the status quo and you know a lot of people don't like that I love it give me more do you suppose the Holy Ghost would threaten the status quo yes. it's kind of his thing mm -hmm. deal with it I have a message and not everyone does I've had to deal with it I mean I'm the first one who has to deal with it mm -hmm. and it's not about me being so great it's about me being obedient to deliver the message the way the Holy Ghost wants it said and delivered and that's where I can do my best to do that yeah. you understand mm -hmm. but it's about the message it's and a message is made up of words and the words will transport you there is this making sense mm -hmm. please hear this out of this message comes a new reality for you to live in and walk in a reality that you couldn't go to before because you were on the other side of the veil I walk in a new reality I never walked in before I had a lot of bits and pieces of, of things that seemed a little bit like this but it was not like this I mean a lot of people would have never heard anybody say certain things like I just said how could anyone say that well I'm required to say it mm -hmm. it's part of what I'm called to do but you can see that right yeah. a lot of people have never been exposed to that or heard anything like it so when they hear it and they see it they're like they don't know what to do with it mm -hmm. it threatens them in their religious complacency Genesis chapter 12 now the Lord had said unto Abram get thee out of thy country and from thy kindred and from thy father's house unto a land that I will show thee mm -hmm. he didn't even tell him where he was going yet he just said get thee out get the out you have to take steps to get out if you don't take the steps to get out of your old thinking of your old complacency of the old country you were living in of the old reality that hasn't been working anyway get the out of it into a country that I will say will will show thee who's this saying this is the Holy Ghost saying this to you today get thee out get out and go to this place that I'm showing you it's behind the veil and walking with me is God in the earth today and I will show you the way I will show you the place and it shall be great you shall be great as you begin to obey me says the Spirit of the Lord to so get thee out of thy country are you seeing this mm -hmm. it was where his house was it was where he was he was established there it was status quo get thee out of that and come over here it's different over here mm -hmm. is it different over here yes, it is. I'm not going back part of entering into the new is getting out of the old you understand that right when you're going into the new it's getting out of the old you have to let go of it the old I called it the old headspace right because that's where your your mind kind of fit in there so you go from the old you go into the new way of thinking the new way of believing the new way of living it's a new headspace you enter into you and the Holy Ghost as God in the earth today now the Lord is is a different headspace to be in isn't it, mm -hmm. yes, it is. frankly getting out is half the battle you can see that when God said that to Abram he said get thee out and I will show thee he said get thee out and I will show thee what if he done didn't get out then he wouldn't done did get shown sometimes you got to get out of that if you go to a place that's preaching opposite of this opposite of this opposite of this all the time you didn't get out and he's not going to be able to show you what you need to be shown I will show you a place 
where there is freedom who are you following then if now the Lord is that spirit mm -hmm. you're following the spirit Lord the spirit as Lord God in the earth today and he's showing you a freedom and a liberty that you couldn't see if you weren't following him but you had to get out so you enter by saying now the Lord is you enter by saying now the Lord is say now, now. the Lord is, the Lord is. That, spirit. that spirit now the Holy Ghost is that spirit now the Holy Ghost is the Lord the Spirit God in the earth today I enter into this behind the veil by saying but I also have to come out from the people and the places that aren't saying that it's a different way of thinking it's a different way of believing it's a different way of living now you can understand some of us were brought up in a religious way and and they all think this other way right God said to Abram you got to get out of there and I will show you a way and then he said I'll bless you and I will make of thee a great nation and I will bless thee where was the blessing just hanging you know if, if God wanted to bless me he could bless me right where I am in my old house in my old thinking you know how many people think that and say that God wanted to heal me he'd heal me right in there where nobody gets healed no nobody gets healed and that means nobody that means you don't mm -hmm. you got to come out into the place where healing takes place if anybody gets healed in the earth it's by the Spirit Lord the Holy Ghost God in the earth today you got to get into his space his head space mm -hmm. Don't get mad at me just because I said get thee out I'm just reading the Bible Galatians chapter 3 let's look at verse 14 and we understand God said he would bless Abraham if he got out and he would show him are you here that the blessing of Abraham might come on the Gentiles through Jesus Christ that we might receive the promise of the spirit through faith yes. what were we supposed to receive the promise of the spirit the promise is the spirit Amen. that he would give you the promise the spirit he is the promise the spirit if you have him you have it all but you got to have him as the spirit lord are you here that means you got to see him for who he is he's the spirit of God he's the spirit God he's the living God who gives us richly all things to enjoy mm -hmm. Holy Ghost Luke chapter 4 verse 8 thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and him only shalt thou serve thou shalt worship him and only serve him what happens when you go behind the veil and you realize that now the Lord is that spirit yes. so thou shalt worship the Lord now the Lord is that spirit and him only shalt thou serve then there's gonna be liberties for you that other people can't have I've come to know the Holy Ghost as the Lord my God God in the earth today you can see that's a different headspace isn't it and he's the living God Amen. living God gives me richly all things to enjoy I walk with him as God in the earth today thank you Jesus for sending the Holy Ghost to be with me in the earth he's God he's in the earth he's the living God mm -hmm. I worship the Lord my God and him only do I serve why would that be because he's the only one in the earth I'm serving him I'm obeying him and if he's the only one I'm serving then he is the one that I'm worshiping according to that verse of Scripture you're too late for me I worship and serve him I believe he gives me richly all things see how you're too late for me mm -hmm. I've come behind this veil I've been here long enough to where I know and believe that the Holy Ghost is the Spirit Lord God in the earth today 
and I worship him as God and I serve him only mm -hmm. and he gives me richly all things to enjoy if that sounds different to you then you need to come farther behind the veil you may not be the best person you know checking all the religious boxes that you were religiously taught to check that makes you a good person or a bad person you may not have all the boxes checked but are you saying his word and worshiping him if you're saying his word and worshiping him you're setting yourself up for the next level for the new manifestation of the spirit this is how we serve him is by speaking in agreement with his word and worshiping him thou shalt worship the lord thy god and him only shalt thou serve so i say i worship the lord my god and him only do i serve mm -hmm. when i start to realize that the holy ghost is the lord my god and him only do i serve and i worship him mm -hmm. what happens i'm set up where other people aren't I'm set up to go on you're set up to go on if you're doing this if you're doing it if you're doing it this is how we serve him we speak in agreement to be in agreement with that verse of scripture in 2 Corinthians chapter 3 verse 17 you have to say now the Lord is that spirit mm -hmm. that's being in agreement with him that's speaking in agreement with him that's serving him because we serve him by saying is this making sense yep. well if we serve him by speaking in agreement and calling him God well how would we worship him by saying I worship you Holy Ghost words that are not found in a majority of places therefore they can't go to where those words will take them like I've maintained many, 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 many times. If you worship him, it will take you behind the veil. If you were behind the veil, you would worship him. You'd see him as God. If you're doing this, it's only a matter of time until you are changed into the thing that you're speaking. I'm telling you this is where the Holy Ghost finger his finger is on this right now in our day and age where you begin to worship him and speak in agreement with his word it licenses you obviously to go behind the veil but he will take you from one glory to the next glory you are changed into it you're changed into the promise spoken he is the promise he's all the promises yes and amen and you're changed into that promise spoken which is a glory mm -hmm. if you're doing it I hear from people regularly people need answers your answer is in doing the word that you heard many words have been spoken tonight you need to begin doing them mm -hmm. and as you begin doing them the answer will show up for you it'll say hello here I am and be like where where'd that come from it came from him james 1 22 says be a doer of the word not just a hearer only you have to do the word you heard the number one part of doing is saying and that's how you worship and that's how you serve mm -hmm. by saying you're transformed by those words it takes you behind the veil and you enter into the freedoms that he has there for you i know what i'm talking about I've done it time and again people that have done this know exactly what I'm talking about mm -hmm. worship and serve him by speaking in agreement with his word until usually it doesn't take that long if you get serious about it mm -hmm. most people are just still holding on to the old thing and a little of the new maybe mm -hmm. Matthew chapter 12 verse 37 for by thy words thou shalt be justified and by thy words thou shalt be condemned what justifies you your words what justifies you in your walk with the Holy Ghost your words 
verse 36 but i say unto you that every idle word that men shall speak they shall give account thereof in the day of judgment verse 37 for by thy words thou shalt be justified so how are you going to be justified in this life walking with the holy ghost by what you say your word that's really all i was trying to get to yes. we walk with the holy ghost by say, speaking in agreement with his word mm -hmm. by your words spoken in agreement with the holy ghost thou shalt be what shalt thou be the words you spoke in agreement with the holy ghost so if my words are the words he said justified it's an automatic stamp of approval on you he sent his word and healed me and delivered me from my destructions what does that make me justified Amen. you shall be that Romans chapter 8 verse 21 the creation itself shall also be delivered thou shalt be justified mm -hmm. thou shalt be mm -hmm. right when you're speaking are you still here you're speaking in agreement with the Holy Ghost thou shalt be say if I'm speaking in agreement with the Holy Ghost I'm speaking speaking in agreement agreement with the Holy Ghost. I shall be I shall be you shall be justified you shall be that thing you've been speaking yes right yes. the creation or the earth itself or everything the, the world you live in itself also shall be delivered mm -hmm. how do you suppose that's gonna happen it's gonna come into your domain creation itself shall also be delivered from the bondage of corruption into the glorious liberty of the children of god the children of god have to be in that glorious liberty for the creation itself to come into that glorious liberty yes. go back to verse 19 the earnest expectation of the creature or creation waits for the manifestation of the sons of God it's waiting for you your circumstances are waiting for you to come behind the veil your finances are waiting for you to come behind the veil your family is waiting for you to come behind the veil and live there you're called up and they'll be called up you go up and they'll come up they follow you but you have to come and live behind the veil with the living god the holy ghost is god in the earth today and learn how to worship him and walk with him and speak in agreement with his words and you watch and see in this last day creation will begin to obey you as you speak his words and his life and his things will come out and begin affecting all situations and all things even people in your office things will begin to change yes. say this things, things are, beginning are beginning to change, to change. Thank you holy ghost i thank you that these people have begun to change and they're beginning to see the new way and the new life that you are offering to them behind the veil as you being the lord god in the earth holy ghost we worship you we give you all the praise and we promise to speak in agreement with your word that you may do great things in our life and great things in our situations in jesus name we thank you for it amen, amen. if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say this after me holy ghost, holy ghost. i worship you i, worship I thank you I thank that you are god here today. today i thank you that you're enabling me to give abundantly into the kingdom and as i do it's multiplied back to me good measure pressed down shaken together and running over it shall be given unto me in the same measure that i meet thank you holy ghost for it for blessing these people every one of them in jesus name amen